Is this the end of the E38? I don't know. Let's find out. Who throws a whole thing of ham away? It's not even expired. No, it is expired. <sighs> Let's get right into it. So, I haven't seen you in a while and that's because I think I broke my car. Yeah, just one morning I walked out, I went to start it and it was making a very horrific sound like this. After I changed my pants and lit a candle to whatever saint I believe in, I went to the forums and I asked for wisdom and advice, but they're just a bunch of fear mongerers and everybody was saying, RIP E38 is your timing chain guides. Now, just because my car sounds like an Abrams tank doesn't necessarily mean that it's fully broken. Yes, there are some things that are certain as death, taxes, the fact that you're gonna get old and fat, and timing chain guides on an E38. But I don't believe that it's the timing chain guides because I want to follow the philosophy of innocent until proven guilty. So until I drop the pen and verify that there's tiny little bits or maybe big old chunks of timing chain guide plastic there, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just not buying it. But it could be the end of the E38 if that's the case. I don't know. We'll see. First off, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter and one of these if you can swing it because there's a lot of those 10 millimeters down there to get the pan down. But before we get to any of that, find yourself an oil pan and let's drain the oil. I hope it doesn't splash too much. I swear my oil, my oil always comes out with like a lot of pressure. This is why I always use gloves because I'm not smart enough to do something and not make a mess. While that's still making a mess all over the place, I'm going to remove the oil level sender here, the oil level sender sensor. And as you can tell, this is a mess. Um, I've just neglected it. I've had a leak from my oil pan gasket for a while and I never really did anything about it. So. This will be a good time to replace that. And honestly, replacing that might be the least of my troubles, if you know what I mean. So, I will be cleaning all of this though, later on. Let's just take this connector off. There you go. There is that. I also have a new gasket for this. I mean, I should have just bought a whole new sensor here. I should be okay. Maybe I shouldn't grab it from the sensitive part. I'm so glad I have a drill. There are so many of them. My neck is killing me. I, uh, catch yourself, catch yourself, even a, even a cheap drill if you, can, if you can swing it. Otherwise, this would be like a three day procedure. There's, I don't know, there's at least like three to 400 of these. I don't know. I'm no calculator, but it's gotta be at least that many. See how much easier it is? I'm just gonna rest it. 
ship right there. I haven't even looked at it yet. I haven't even looked inside the pan yet. I'm gonna have to work up to that. All right, I really haven't looked at the pan. So I'm gonna pull the whole thing out right now and I'll tell you what it is. Yes, it is my timing chain guides that have now disintegrated. Oh my. Well, this is not ideal, but you know, I knew this day was coming. Let me see if I can drain some of this so you can get a better look. There might be some metallic. Yeah, there's some metal here. I don't necessarily know how good that is. But if you can see on the reflection, I don't know if you, you can see that. There are shreds of metal there, there, there. However, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like the entire timing chain guide went but definitely a chunk of it so probably the rest of it is about to just fall off and it here it seems that there is another plastic piece to those of you that have done a timing chain guide job before I haven't what is this can you see that what part is that leave me a comment down below please let me know. I'm curious. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. You win some, and if you own an E38, you will definitely lose some. Yeah, I don't know if the camera catches it, but there are little flakes of metal. They're shavings all over the place. I'm not sure if that's from the chain or what have you. Well, there it is. With almost 200,000 miles on the clock, I didn't quite make it. The timing chain guide boogeyman came for me. So, you know, I'm gonna be starting an OnlyFans. And uh, yeah, please support me there too, you know. I got some good stuff. I got some outfits for you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because I didn't have this budgeted right now. Uh, we just bought the SUV for my baby daughter. So, you know, that came first. I had to get an SUV for the family so she's more comfortable. And now, you know, this car went down. So, who knows? Priorities, responsibilities. I don't know what my uploading schedule is going to be now since the car is out of commission. And I don't quite have the funds to fix it right at this moment. So, if you like the channel, give it a thumbs up share it, watch my other videos, share them with your friends, and keep the channel and the views afloat. If you want to peace out, thank you. Thank you for the support, because uh, I don't know when I'm going to be shooting another video on that, uh, or when I'm going to fix it, or what I'm going to do with it yet. It is what it is. It's just a car. I love my car. Uh, if you're an E38 enthusiast, you know that I'm a little bit sad on the inside, but hey, at the end of the day, I got my family, I got my health, Everything is good and I'm very blessed. So thank you guys so much. If you want to keep supporting the channel, you know what to do. If you don't, thank you so much for being along in the journey. Uh, I will see you, whoever's left, on the next video.